Hello everyone, welcome back to a very exciting video for me of cash and coffee. We are stuffing today's tax return. How much tax return? A lot of tax return money. As you can see in the title, it says $8,000. What? Well, on hand, I have $785, and then I will show you the rest of the money. You're probably wondering, mm okay, where's the rest of the money? I promise this one is very exciting to see. So I'm going to go ahead and get this sorted and jump into stuffing uh, these envelopes. So let's set out the money here. I'm going to share my notes and go my notes and goals with you towards the end of the video because I don't want to give away anything in here too soon. And before we start stuffing, let's talk about today's mug. It is a Reese's mug that honestly it was just from a Christmas um uh like mug candy kit I got this past Christmas. However, it came from my dad and I looked at it as a reminder of our trip to Vegas in December 2019. My sister and I took him there for Christmas and his birthday because um, they're not that far apart. I really hate combined gifts when it comes to birthdays and Christmas but this was kind of more on the expensive side so I, I saw that as a pass <laughs> for a combined gift. So we we flew my dad out to Vegas. Um, this, it was all of our first time out there. We went to see the um, final show for Reba and Brooks and Dunn. My dad is, my whole family is musical. We all sing, uh, but Brooks and Dunn is like my dad's go-to karaoke music, and he just loves them. I grew up listening to them. Among, I mean, we listen to all kinds of music, literally all kinds of music, but um, Brooks and Dunn was definitely just something like when you look back on your childhood and you think of a song, and Brooks and Dunn is like generally some of the first music I think of when it comes to my family. So anyway, back to the Reese's part of it. <laughs> the um, casino we went into um, to gamble for the first time was the New York, New York. I think that's what it's called. And in that casino on the floor, you can access the Hershey store. And quite honestly, I'm really bad on the names with this one. Uh, it might be called like Hershey World or something, but um, while my dad was playing some of the machines, my sister and I went browsing around and we were definitely obsessed with the store. We wanted to buy all the things and her, she's really obsessed with Reese's. I love Reese's, um, but it was just like this just this fun little moment we had. We had like a little photo shoot in the store with all the things and it was just silly and it was just a nice reminder of the trip that we had. So anyway, let's jump into this money now. We're going to start with the green binder, which I don't think I've introduced the green binder yet. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I mean, it's been in a couple videos now, but I never said this is the extra binder that came with my, when my husband got me this one. We also got this one, but I had been waiting for it. So anyway, I got a nice dark green binder. Green for money, honey. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start now. You've seen in my last video, um, right before this one, you would have heard that our check was short again. They corrected the mistake that they did um, on the previous check, but instead of also including the current OT with the missing OT, they just gave us one chunk of it. So we're still missing a chunk of OT that's going to be on the next paycheck, hopefully. Hopefully nothing's wrong. I, I cannot believe that this keeps happening to us. Anyway, um, so with the tax return, I'm going to fill my the couple cash envelopes which I wasn't planning on doing but I had to maneuver things around um, just so we could survive and not like 
and not be so worried about, or at least for me, like I don't want to pull from the other envelopes if I don't have to, so I'm just really trying to stick to budget, stick with what's in each envelope. So we're going to start with gas, and gas is getting a 20. So... That brings our gas, and I just filled this, so nothing has been spent other than a $20 that my husband already used. Uh, that brings it to 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. And gas is really expensive right now. Like, I'm too afraid to even go anywhere. Like, I don't want to spend $3 a gallon. <laughs> it's like, I mean, so stingy. I'm just staying in town or going like 20 minutes out of town to go get groceries that are not nearby. Um, speaking of groceries, that is getting 40 in the form of two 20s. 20, 40. I really, like, I just want to stock up on stuff from Sam's and Costco. Like, fun new things. <laughs> I love going there. Alright, so now we have 1, 50, 70, 90, 110, 120 in groceries. Just kidding. What would I say? 150, 70, 90, 210, 220. There we go. That sounds much better. Okay, next up, household. Uh, B's wallet is not getting anything. Uh, household is going to get a 20. We need to get some air filters for our furnace. Next up is car maintenance. So we're going to skip beauty. Car maintenance, we used all the money um, from this last paycheck being short. So we used it all on gas. So my thought was, when I ran out of gas money, I went to the next like um, I went to the next envelope that made more sense to pull money out for a car. So like I have a gas, I have car maintenance um, envelope and a car tabs envelope. So I pulled money from each of those to make it through to this current paycheck. So car maintenance this time is getting 150. We have to fix our truck and it's gonna cost almost a thousand dollars. So I'm excited to add this. This means we can start finding parts for it and we can start working on it. So we're gonna do it ourselves. The dealership was trying to have us pay like three grand for it. And I was like, no, we can do that because luckily because luckily we have car people in the family so next up car tabs is getting 50 this needs I just got the statement in the mail for these so it's due soon so we had 10 adding 50 we got 55 60 Gymnastics is not getting anything. Debts are not is not getting anything. C savings will be getting a hundred. Okay, so we had seven oh one, so we should have eight oh one. Find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, forty, sixty, seventy-five, eighty-five, 
86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 801. Those $2 bills always throw me off. I don't even know how I got the $2 bill. I've had so many come through just in my life, $2 bills. I kind of wish I would have kept them just because they look cool, but I hate counting them. Not, And I don't know why. It's not like it's that hard. It just messes with you. At least me. And I do think I'm going to take this. I keep saying that, but I'm pretty sure it's about time because I know when I put it in the bank, they'll have probably a thousand with what they already have in there. The J Savings, also getting a hundred. So J is also getting a hundred dollar bill. So that should be 808. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 800, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. not getting anything this time so we are done with this binder yay because I'm so excited I haven't put any money in this one and it feels like forever so let's get into the next one all right Christmas is getting 25 and a 20 and a 5 Now we have 20, 40, 55, 60. Twenty-five and a twenty and a five. So now we have twenty five, thirty five, six, thirty six. Cannot wait to get the clothes um, fattened up because, girl. I think my butt getting big. Mm hmm. Need some new chonies over here. Have my cart full, just waiting for the money to hit by. Okay. Next up is fun. Fun is getting 35 in a 20. 10 and 5. So today we were supposed to use our fun money to um, go to the movie. You know, I've been saying we're super excited to go to the movie. Um, with the shortage of checks, even though I have this extra, I just... Um, we're just going to stay home this weekend because Tom and Jerry comes out on HBO Max. We have HBO Max. Even though I knew that, I still wanted to go to the movie theater. I just wanted that experience. 
Um, but then Raya and the Last Dragon, I think that's what it's called, the new Disney movie. Um, I told the kids, because I don't want to buy that on Disney+, Plus, like the premium access, I wanted to um, see it in theater instead. So instead of going to theater twice, although that is something we would have typically done, um, just trying to be smart about it, and so we're having a movie. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm trying to say is we're having a movie weekend tonight here at home with Tom and Jerry on HBO Max, and we're going to use this money for Raya and the Last Dragon um, ah, next time. Next week? I think it's next week. Or the week after. Something like that. So, um, and I also had to use, or I didn't have to, but we just felt like we also used some fun money this last paycheck because... The kids wanted um, a Happy Meal, and we hadn't done that in a very long time, so we got them Happy Meals, especially because um, they had Pokemon Happy Meals, and my kids love Pokemon cards. So we thought, hey, we have the money, and we spent $10 and did that. Okay, so what do we have here? We have 45 Let's double check. 20 35 45 Let me just jibber-jabbering over here. Okay, scrapbooks is getting forty dollars in two in the form of two twenties. I've started working on my scrapbook from twenty sixteen. Um, really excited to go down memory lane and see my little guy again as a baby and it's amazing you, what you think you remember and then you don't really remember. Alright, so we're adding 40. So we should have $80 here. 20, 40, 50, 65, 75, 80. Even with my half off code that I input on my um, in the coupon field for my scrapbook boxes, it's still, my total still like $500. Because <laughs> I have, I have like three or four books ready to order, and some of them are quite thick, and that makes a big difference. Uh, so I just can't wait. I mean, I can do one book at a time, but we'll see what happens. I don't know how much longer I can wait. So home remodeling, is that getting anything? That one's getting 40 as well, so we're two twenties. I'm going slow on this one, although we really do want to update our bedroom. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70. I really want to redo our closet. We have a nice closet, but I want to um, do it a little bit differently. We need new carpet. Our bed is good because we bought that when we first moved in here. So it's really not a ton of things we want to update. It's just the things that we do want to update are pricey. So we'll get there. Uh, vacation is getting 50. The last 50 here. So we had, so we had 50 already, so there should be 100 here. We got 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 100. All right, that's exciting. I really wanted to do something special for my husband's birthday, and I don't know if I need to take the money out of vacation or birthday. I don't want to do both. Um, so I'm trying to navigate that if it can happen this year. Um, emergency is getting $40 in two forties. So we had $60 in here, so we should have 100 now. We've had 
20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 100. It's pretty exciting be getting over a $100 uh, bump there, hill there, whatever you want to call it. 900 more dollars to go. <laughs> Okay, the birthday is getting 15. So we should have 25 together. So there's 10, 25. Gifts is getting 25. And there's nothing in gifts, so we're starting over with 25. And school is getting ten dollars. So we have fifteen in there now. Let's do fifteen. I'm very excited because my daughter's tuition. Um, we really have to pay, I just paid it this month, and then we have to pay it two more times, and then that's $120 we can save over summer. Nothing for timeshare tax and fees. I did just pay that off with this current paycheck. So now I'm just going to slowly start adding back into this. So that I don't have to be, so it doesn't have to be a burden on me uh, in 2023 when I have to pay it again. It's like a lump sum, because I just kept doing it as a lump sum. So I have notes and goals I started writing on just like a little piece of paper. This is nothing new for me to do, it's just I just put it in a different notebook and I'll share it with you. Now you may be wondering what the heck happened to the rest of the money you said you were stuffing $8,000. Well, check it out. I'm very excited to say I took that money and I paid off $7,147 of our timeshare. That means our timeshare is now 
paid in full and I'm so excited like it's still unreal to me I paid this off last week and I've been waiting for the rest of my tax return money to come in before I could stuff envelopes and it's just unreal to me so our timeshare is now ours we have an extra we have extra money left over starting next month and then and I went with paying off the timeshare versus a different debt because this is something that is on my husband's credit and you know it's a big amount and we think that we're gonna have to get a new car because um, I do have a lease and I don't want to keep that car and now that we see GM is coming out with the um, Chevy Bolt EUV I believe it is the electric SUV um, we are really eyeing that up we want one um, and so it's just gonna be really helpful for him to have this off of his credit and also the money freed up so my goals well this is my notes currently what I owe for my discover the timeshare is not being full um, then I have our bank credit card a bank loan and then our other credit card left uh, these are not all of our debts but these are like the big ones that I really want but these are some of the main ones I want to get taken care of first because they're more doable first versus the student loan and our truck loan and our house so on the other side here are the goals so my current goals for the next month are to pay off our bank card and then by the end of March and then by the end of March have these envelope categories filled up to their goal limit so beauty I think my beauty limit was like a hundred pets is like a hundred and so on so I just want to have those full so that I can not worry about them unless I have to use money out of them so those are I think some pretty easy goals and you might be wondering what the heck about this one well stay tuned to the next video so I can explain why I have a, such a large goal for one month of paying off basically almost five thousand dollars so but we'll get to that in the next video so thanks for tuning in and sticking around while I stuff the tax return money and you saw me pay off the timeshare and that's so exciting I cannot believe that that happened again oh it's still unreal like I'm speechless <laughs> so um, if you want to leave a comment below leave me a coffee and some cash and some orange hearts whatever you want to do don't forget to like and subscribe hello to all the new subscribers thank you so much for tuning in it's very exciting to see anyone want to subscribe to me at all in the first place so uh, thanks for tuning in and until next time we'll see ya